If you don't do this, you're making CS2 harder for yourself, more input lag, your same, and your movement feels off. This guide will make your game smoother, and I'm also giving away some nice skins, so stay tuned guys. Yo guys, it's Tixara, and today I'm here with the second part of how to get zero input lag in CS2. So, I have basically some settings that nobody really talked about in the CS community before, but this can highly reduce your input lag in CS2. So the first step is you need to type in regedit. So once you are here, you need to search for computer, HQ local machine system, control set 001, control and priority control. You need to find Win32 priority separation. And here set the base to decimal, value data to 40, and press OK. You need to restart your PC after this setting. And this setting basically what it does, uh, it will make your keyboard and mouse and your CS2 have the same CPU time. This will highly reduce your input lag. It's gonna give you a way better mouse feeling and keyboard also. Let's check out skinworld.gg where you can instantly trade your skins, sell your skins for real money or buy a new skin. If you want to add some balance, just click on the plus icon, use the code Nixie and you will get a 35% deposit bonus. If you want to use the site, just click on login with Steam, select the items you want to trade, select the items you want to get and click on trade, send your items to the trade bot, go accept your offer, get your items and boom, you already have your new skins. So guys, the second step is if you want to lower your input lag of your mouse, you need to switch your DPI and your polling rate higher. So let's say you want to switch from 800 DPI to 1600, you just need to put your in-game sensitivity in a calculator, multiply it by 0.5 and you get the same in-game sensitivity. And for the polling rate part, I highly recommend you to switch from 1000 for example to 2 or 4000 if your mouse can handle it, but 8000 I don't recommend you at all because it will make you, uh, your game stuttering, make you a lot of problems, just use 2 or 4000 polling hertz. So guys, for the first step you need to open NVIDIA control panel, and here make sure to do the settings, in manage 3D settings, put low, lat low latency mode to ultra if you don't use NVIDIA reflex boost, and the power management mode, put this to prefer maximum performance, Vertical Scenic, make sure to have this setting at off. And the Setup G Scenic, make sure to have this setting at off as well. And here, what I recommend you to do, if you play Full HD, I mean native, you make sure to use no scaling because this will highly reduce your input lag. But if you are a 4x3 player or whatever, just use full screen like me. And uh, you need to open your Steam, go right click on CS2, properties, and type in here no reflex, minus no reflex, and these settings will help you to reduce your input lag in game. Guys, I want to give away this AK47 Ice Cold and for AS Leaded Glass, both of them are in field tested condition. The giveaway will be at June 7. If you want to participate, all you have to do is to join to my Discord server, follow me on Twitch, and leave a nice comment under this video. I will have the links in the pinned comment and the description as well. So good luck guys for the giveaway. So guys, the last step is basically to type in choose a power plan. Here, make sure to use ultimate performance. This will give you the best 1% loss, better stability with your FPS, and it will highly reduce your input lag. Guys, this was all my settings for today. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and see you in the next one, guys.